Hey, what's up, y'all? Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the tires on the semi wheels on a little tire change. This is just a regular uh, for like regular car wheels, but I've been using it. it works fine. So I'll show you a little bit how to do it. Um, first thing, uh, what I normally do is grab. Uh, you want to pull the. all your air comes out. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, this is what I use here. I just take it out. You want to keep that and uh, you put that in afterwards to get all the air out of it. This one's got all the air out, so I'll show you what to do here. We got some of that stuff. All right, first thing you got to break the bead on this. It's fairly simple on this one. Just bring it up here. Put that one in place. Got a pedal over here. Air pressure. Pop that baby right out. Flip around to the other side. Same way. And then this needs to be two people right up, so I just set that thing there somehow to get it up there. And so basically here, um, these slide out, your rim goes over this, and then those go out and lock your wheel in place. And you get your pedal down here. And that just puts them out. Just like that, they lock them in place. And normally what I do, swing these in, and I'll use these to Push the tire down just to get it greased up nice and good. Puts it down where it's easy to get to. And then you just want to use some tire lubricant. This is what I use. Um, it just really lubes it up nice um, where the tire comes off nice and easy. Just take yourself some sort of brush and brush it on. Tire and rim is what I do. All the way around on both of those. It's hard to get too much of this on there. And you're done with it. Then you want to bring this over. And you see this. This hair needs to be on the outside of the rim. So you want to set that down just like that and then you got a lever up here go ahead and tighten it up. That'll lock that in place there. Then what you want to do is take this bar and you want to set it right here on that little duck bill. Get a hold of that that edge and you have to bring this up. The first one normally gets a little hard. So you have to pull that up and you want to get it up on top of that. Sometimes it works better with two bars, whatever works for you. And then you just rotate the whole tire. Snap that 
thing right off of there. And then you pretty much do the same thing with the bottom. So you gotta get your bar down there on that same duck bill. Get it down on your bottom one, pull it up. And you're probably better off doing the same thing. Two bars. And rotate the tire. As you can see, I probably don't have enough some more of this on it. Move it up nicely. Just like that, you got your tire off. So you go ahead and get this one out of the way. Get your old tire off. these I normally I like to clean them up a good bit um, just to make sure there's no dirt and stuff on the bead and I do the same with the rim Bunch of this tire lubricant on these two surfaces, both sides. Just helps it go on really nice and smooth. And again, hard to have too much. this thing. Bring this back in, same position. Drop it down. And then here you want to make sure this one goes underneath. No, not that one. This side. That just pushes that thing on there. This one you want to bring the tire down under. What I've learned is probably the easiest thing to do. Just hook this bar right in here. That helps get started. Go ahead and just put that thing right on there. Just like that. Back this out of the way. And then you've got your um, chuck here, put that on there, and then put air to the tire. You've got a pedal down here that I can step on. And actually put air through that line and take this bead setter and just put it in the side here, put air to it. And that sets the bead. And so you bring it up to pressure, and there you have it. Got your semi-tire on a little car tire machine.